even in the free account, you can have up to 100,000 nodes in Evernote. Each node can have up to 100 tags. The node title can have up to 250 characters. And to give you some perspective, I've been using Evernote since 2008 and I still don't have 14,000 nodes. And finally, the note adds to itself automatically the date and time of creation. And now we have to go to the office. They are cutting the grass here somewhere. Okay, much better now. You may be wondering what all this has to do with lists. I'll get there, I promise. But let's start with this comment on a recent video about habit tracking. It's not the only one I usually get comments like this. And definitely it's easier to create a table or even a basic list in a note, but that will not allow me to work with the data like I want to. <laughs> Before we go any further, let me show you this. First, let's click here and choose size list. Then you can click anywhere on this bar, right click and select another item here. Let's choose size. And now we have the size here. As you can see, it's looking more like a list now. And there is another thing that we can do here. We can click here and change the way Evernote orders this list. For example, here I have it set to date created. That is what I use all the time. But let's say you want date updated. It will change to the last time you update a list. And you can even change the order to the least recent one. I never use this, but you can even order it by alphabetic order. And again, take a look at the arrow. It can be pointing up or pointing down. This will change it from alphabetic to reverse alphabetic order. Maybe you never thought about it, but yes, you can create a note with only a title and some tags. And if we have many notes like this in a notebook, we suddenly have a list. And the ability to add and remove variables or reorder this list to better suit our needs is already quite powerful, but there is more. If I search for Sunday inside a habit tracker notebook, Sunday, here's what I get. Two notes with Sunday in their titles, but there's this other note that is Tuesday. However, there is the word Sunday inside the note. This is happening because the search is looking for that word in the title or in the note itself. However, there is an advanced search term that will force Evernote to look for that word only in the title. In title. <laughs> That's the term. <laughs> in title, column, and Sunday. If we search like this, Evernote will return only notes in that notebook with the word Sunday in their title. And of course, you can find notes with the word Sunday in the note and not in the title. Let's do this. Sunday space minus any note that has the word Sunday in their title. And here we have it. Can you see how powerful a list like this is? We can filter by so many variables. We can use words in the title, tags, words in the note. We can select different notebooks if we wish to. And if you pay attention to the top of the list, you see another variable. It's the number of notes that match that search criteria. Pretty cool, right? To learn more about other signs like this in Evernote, watch this video. And what about you? How do you create lists? How do you Evernote? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.